What is up? Let's see if we can make this work. Quality's not that bad. I usually don't like the live videos. Anyways, uh, what's up everyone? Uh, you guys can come and go as you want. If you guys are here after the fact, um, what kind of happened a little bit today is um, I, uh, so Bogna took my truck today and she left me with her car and we, uh, she has my shop key. So I couldn't go, I couldn't get, I couldn't get into my shop today. So I ended up in the garage working on the Ducati and I am uh, giving you guys a little bit ahead of time on what's happening. We're replacing the master cylinders on both the clutch and the brake side. And it's turning out to be a little bit more of a job. What's up? Um, and so I thought I would just set this thing up and just let you guys kick it with me. And uh, I don't know, it's, 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 I got half the bike apart over here. The nose is off. Um, the brake switch is basically where I'm at is uh needs to be run and the whole side over here is off so um i just thought i would hang with you guys and uh just do this job it's not going to be a video i was going to film this thing but it's turning out to be m a bigger job than expected so uh, if you guys want to hang out hang out i uh, thought i'd just leave this camera running and uh, i'll try to pick up the comments as i can but basically where we're at is we're basically splicing in we have Let's see where are we at. We have the R uh, RCS 19 uh, master that we're putting on there. They run somewhat of a brake line, but um, I got to splice into it and everything like that. So that's kind of where I'm at. So let's get into it. See what we can do here. Hate cutting wires. Three of you. Uh, so you guys, if you guys missed the beginning, uh, I'm doing a bigger job than I expected. I was gonna do a video with you guys, but uh, decided that this is a bigger job than expected. So we're gonna be hanging out, putting on these, putting on these. Uh, master cylinders up here. So nothing major, nothing happening here. Um, I have, I have a tool for that, by the way. You guys are laughing at me. I don't know where it is. It's over here somewhere. I have one fancy little stripper. Strippers. So if you guys are hanging around, uh, thank you guys. Um, so what... Uh, what do you guys think's going on right now? <laughs> um, I'm putting on the new masters and they're turning out to be bigger jobs than I kind of wanted to do a video today. So hopefully you guys will stick around for a minute. Uh, but that's about it. A couple people hanging around. You're like, I got nothing better to do just like you. Um, Bogna took my truck this morning. I'll probably tell you guys this like four or five times, but uh, Bogna took my truck this morning and my shop keys were on the truck. So I couldn't get into my shop to work today. So that sucked. So here we are <laughs> working on the bike instead. So I did, I did get the, for you guys, a few people that are here. Um, I got new wheels on. Uh, that's kind of been low, low key released. But if you guys are on here, uh, I do get new wheels and I did get new rotors. And let's see what else. Uh, new brake pads are on. So I did do a video of that this morning. If you guys are interested in um, a 
DIY for the brake pads. Uh, I did a brake pad video this morning, so uh, that'll be out sometime in the next couple weeks. But uh, yeah, man, the 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 master isn't. Uh, I had to tear the bike kind of half apart. The nose is off right now, and the side of the bike is off because I had to get to the brake switch which is like underneath this whole side. And I started to kind of dig into the thing and just thought, you know what? This definitely isn't gonna be a, a DIY video. So I decided to um, ditch the DIY and just do <laughs> this video. So um, we are uh, replacing this with this. So I've kind of got that ready to go. Uh, this is the RCS Corsa Corta uh, Master, but uh, we're getting ready to pull all of this apart, and uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I got the new wheels, rotors on there. The rotors. Uh, um, if I can get a couple people to comment, I don't know, are you guys? Is there comments down here? Hey, buddies. Oh yeah, there's some comments. By chat. What's up? Um, I'll show you guys the rotors if you want. But yeah, comment. You gotta, you gotta do a little bit of work. Uh, let's see. <sighs> welcome UK. Welcome to the US. Um, welcome to California where we are on fire still. Horrible. Absolutely horrible. Um, we had, if, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, um, follow me on Instagram, uh, Henderson, H-E-N-D-R-S-N, -E uh, because I posted a picture. We had like ash, like full on, like it looked like it, literally it looked like it snowed um, the other day. It was, it was really that bad in ash and smoke and the wind and everything. So get that later. <laughs> so master is about to come off. Well, kind of off. So we're going to take this off in two phases. So set this here. Um, if you guys are looking, if you, my trick <laughs> to getting the uh, fluid out, I throw that in there. Let's see who's got what's saying what. Uh, have you checked out Jared Campini's Ducati? Um, I have, I do watch Jared Campini's, um, and um, I know he's run out of parts. Um, I kind of got a jump on my build. If you guys have been watching my build, obviously I'm much further than Jared is. Um, you know, Jared has the backing of, um, of the Patreons. Do you syringe? Yeah, um, I also have a turkey, I have a turkey baster, you'll laugh. But um, to pull most of the fluids out, I have I have this turkey baster that actually is what I generally use. But um, back to Jared, you know, Jared's got a lot more money than I do as far as what he can be doing. Uh, although <laughs> I've got a lot more into my bike than he does, but um, right now. But yeah, I've seen Jared's stuff. Um, I know he's replaced his master with a RC19 or RCS19. I don't know that he did the, the Corsa Corta. Um, and then I think he did the 16 just like I'm doing. He did do the monoblock, um, the monoblock calipers. I don't feel like I need to do the monoblock calipers. Um, what's up, ladies? Someone's someone's looking for a hookup. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know that I need to do the monoblock. Um, I did do new rotors, and I did do uh, which he. I don't think he did. I don't think he replaced his rotors. Um, but um, these calipers are are so nice. So um, I do I do love the paint, Eddie with Shred Dog. Um, he actually has some some more parts that are being done. Um, I sent him some more parts because we've got some stuff coming up. So we've got some more stuff going on. Uh, 
Uh, someone's needs, someone needs a Snickers. What's up, brother? Uh, thanks for joining us. Um, what's up, Naylor? Jeff Naylor's in the house. Jeff Naylor uh, is one of my uh, one of my riding buddies from well, one of my old riding buddies. He doesn't come out no more. He doesn't ride with us. But it was good seeing you the other day uh, up at Alice's. So very good seeing you. Um, this is I did not PPF the paint. The paint is the paint is just uh, it's basically like um, it's it's somewhat of a. I, I've got topical ceramic coat on it. I, I haven't really, um, I haven't really messed with the paint. Um, I have Eddie. Eddie just he'll repaint it for me if I need to. So um, yeah. So I I haven't PPF the paint yet. So let's see. So let's get let's get the new master at least mounted on here in its place. Um, I do have. Oh, um, the, the Tuano, <laughs> um, which way is the Brembo Spice? Oh. Together, I think it goes this way. So the Tuano, so the Tuano, if you guys want some insight, I guess that's what you guys are here for right now, a little behind the scenes. The Tuano is at Shiv's right now being tuned. So uh, stay tuned because that video is coming up. Um, so Shiv has, Shiv has the Tuano. Um, I don't know why the battery died, but apparently my battery tender that I had on it didn't work. So, my bad. So, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah. All right, so now, so now we come into more problems. More money, more problems, baby. So the master doesn't look like it's going to tighten down all the way. It's loose. So, oh, there it goes. Eh, I'm just kidding. Um, so I'm just lining up, if you guys are interested in this, I'm lining up the, uh, there's a little plus mark where basically you put the, uh, the master on there. And actually it fits, it fits really good. So right on these bars, the R... CS19 Corsa Corta. This is, I think this is like my first live video. I think I've done some other live videos, but I haven't really done any live videos. So welcome to the first live video. A uh, year and a half on the channel. Um, we've hit 3 million views. So I, I thank you guys for that. Um, super rad. Uh, you know, most channels people build for years and this is a lot of work i'll tell you guys um getting this all done for you guys and, and doing this not only is it expensive but it's um it, it's fun uh you need some flash indicators on the front forks um i you know i so these are the led ones from ducati um i de definitely definitely needed them from the stock ones without a doubt but i know the new rage cycle I don't really like, I don't like the new rage cycle stuff. One of my scoots. Um, yeah, I don't, you know, the new rage cycle, I'm, I might even change the rear. It, I don't know. This, no. I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not a fan. So, um, I, I like these. Actually, these LEDs are actually really, I don't think anything is majorly unplugged that it's going to yell at me. Um, but yeah, these, I like these LEDs. Of course. Oh, I, I don't have the whole instrument cluster. But yeah, I, I do, I do like these LEDs. So, um, all right. Master is on. So the, the reason for the whole side of the bike being, um, deleted. Uh, do you bet there's any false neutrals? Um, so I, I, I have experienced the whole quick shifter issue. I've, I've said it in some of my videos, but I haven't done the recall. The recall is being done, not tomorrow, not this Friday, but next Friday, we're going to Eurocycles in Reno and we're finally getting the clear clutch clever put on. 
I was going to tackle the job, but it's kind of like this. Look, this is a job I would have rather just taken to the shop and just let him do it. But I have some time today. Um, the clear clutch cover is going on and the, um, the, the quick shifter recall will be done then. So, uh, but I have experienced it. It has been an issue. Uh, and, um, uh, you know, I get it, I get around it, but it's, it's, it's what it is. I mean, there's nothing really we can do about it. So, um, yeah, but the quick shifter is, it's not that bad, but it's, you know, when you're, when you're, when you're on it and when you're digging pretty good and you hit that shifter and it gets in between and bop, 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 um, little pain in the ass. So, um, I'll, I'll give it, I'll give it that, but, um, it doesn't, it doesn't bother me too, too much. So what's bothering me right now is that this isn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> uh, new rotors on, new wheels on. Do you guys see the new wheels? You guys follow me on Instagram. If you don't, uh, I leak a lot of, of my own stuff on my personal Instagram. The, the, the cable doesn't want to go in. Uh, Germany. Hello. Welcome, Germany. What time is it in Germany? I don't even know. I don't even know what time it is here. Um getting super frustrated with this wire right now because it is not um it won't go back in its sleeve go in your sleeve and um where's bogna okay so you, if you guys miss this I'll, I'll say it again so bogna is um bogna is doing horsey time stuff today she's supposed to be working but um, her horse, Remy, is, uh, he's a little off on one of his feet. So he, she went down to Ramona's today, which is about, uh, it's about a two hour drive down south. So she took my truck um, to go down south. She left me, left me her Infinity, which don't get me wrong, I love driving it. But um, I got all the way to my shop this morning and um, she has my shop key on it. And the farm truck, if you guys missed the farm truck, I know you missed the farm truck. Uh, I know James does at least. James, if you guys, if you end up seeing this, James, um, the farm truck's coming back. It, it's been in the shop for two more fucking months. Um, anyways, um, so I don't have any work, uh, I don't have any work keys. So to, to my shop, I couldn't get in my shop today. So I, um... So Bog is at the at the horse ranch. So uh, horses are cool, not a bad passion. Uh, it's not a bad passion unless you're Bogna. Um, Bogna is uh, apparently we named her third new horse last night. Um, the um, the dad is like backstreet pony something. I don't know. And, um, or the mom is, and the dad is like, uh, Tomcat Checks, which is the ranch that she trains out of. So Tomcat Checks, so we, I think we went to bed last night naming the horse, Back That Checks Up. <laughs> and that's what I like, Back That Checks Up. Um, so, uh, but yeah, she's got, she's got Remy, uh, which is her, her newest, uh, uh, coming to be three-year-old. And then, are you laughing at Back That Checks Up? Um, the, the horse, the horse registration company or the, the place where you register your horse, they've been apparently, um, um, they've been, uh, um, denying people's, denying people's cause there's a, there's a horse named call me Mitch and, um, they apparently denied the name after they already named it or something like that. So now they uh, they allowed it. So now everyone's like, "You son of a Mitch," and um, all these other names. It's great. So we're hoping. I'm I'm hoping. I'm look. Uh, give me a like if you guys like. Uh, back that checks up. Um, that's that's what I'm going for. Back the checks up. Um, all right. Stupid wire. Got it. Got it on there. Um, 
A super bike, super bike squid. All right, brown, brown, brownie brown. Uh, yeah, so Street Fighter is coming along. I'm super, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to ride this thing. I haven't been riding this thing this month because um, our, so if you guys didn't see part one, um, you know, our riding road just got destroyed by that fire um, that came through uh, a month ago. Um, bird is squawking. Are you guys interested in the bird? Anybody want to see the bird? Uh, let me know if you want to see the bird. I'll go get the bird for you guys. No one? <laughs> I was like, um, I have a macaw, by the way, if you guys don't know. If you don't know Bailey, Bailey the macaw. Um, I used to let him out here, but now he's older and he's a pain in the ass. So, um... I don't, uh, I don't bring him out in the garage anymore because he'll fly around and he'll get into shit. So, uh, what, uh, you guys got any questions about this Street Fighter? What, what are we doing? What, what do we do next to it, man? What's, um, what's next on the agenda? Hang on, Snickers. Did you ever get your Snickers bar? <laughs> I love your name, by the way. I think it's hilarious. Um, Bar Bogdan noticed it the first time. Um, uh, hell yeah. Still no baffles. <laughs> Still no baffles. All right, hang on. Let me grab the bird real quick because he's flying around the house. Come here. All right, welcome back to the channel. Bailey the Macaw. What's up, buddy? Say hi. Um, he gave himself a bath earlier. <laughs> so, um, Bailey, as long as he's not flying around right now, um, some of you guys are going to come on this thing and say, what the hell is this guy? He got a bird on his shoulder. Hi, buddy. <laughs> he's such a trip. I and Now, um, I never thought that I would have a bird, um, but uh, cool as hell. Hell yeah. This thing is, I, I love this guy. He's like, he's my boy. He's my boy. Um, in the afternoon, he starts talking and yelling around and all that shit. So, um, all right. So, click this on. What I'm looking for is brake switch. We got a brake switch. We don't have any brakes, but... We got a brake switch. Oh, blinkers, if you guys are still around. Um, I like these blinkers. I dig these blinkers, so um, I don't mind them. Uh, let's see, all right. Um, I'm gonna black out the lens for a second. Get a little cleaner on there. Um, let's see, let's see if the bird will be good and hang. Leave the bird there. All right. Um, all right. So masters on and wires good and that is good. All right. One down. One is down, baby. Wait. It, the, the only one thing about comments is it it's it doesn't uh pirate bill uh thank you for the nice bike manuel um he does talk he um so he talks a lot when he's by himself so if i'm in the other room he talks he says hi he's hi bailey um hi bird no uh bad bird <laughs> he says uh what else do you say, buddy? Hi. Hi. He gave himself a bath earlier, so. Um, but uh, yeah, he's he's a he's a he's a cool he's a cool bird. So um, he is. So that's Bailey the macaw. Come here. 
He's wet, so <laughs> he doesn't normally look this scruffy. But he gives you kisses. Um, I feel like he knows something's going on. It's crazy when the other people are here, he's not a real active. Like, he knows I'm talking to somebody. Like, he's a smart bird. Um, <laughs> you know, buddy? Hi. Oh, yeah. Um, all right, at this rate, I'm never going to get this master done. So let's get some work done on this master, you guys. Come on. Um, all right, so that's all, that's all run. And now we got to break the line and get the line in there. So switch is done. All right, so now, now the messy part. Now the messy part. What size are we at? It's a bolt. 12. I'm gonna go with the 12. It's a 13. 12, my 12. All right, so what is um what is going on with everybody? Why why are you guys why are you guys on why are you guys on YouTube in the middle of the day? <laughs> so what's uh what's happening out there? What do you guys do? Let us know. I'm interested interested to find out what you guys all do. Snickers, what are you doing, buddy? Looking tight. There's 15 of you. Why are you all here in the middle of the day? Well, Germany, I guess, is probably in the middle of the night. So, um, 12. Oh, I don't know. Looking for the 12. All right, so let's see. Um, it's, it's bedtime in the UK. All right. Um, software support. Oh, yeah, so you're just sitting in front of, you're just sitting in front of the computer anyway. So, for you, it's, you're like, uh, are, do you have your your cursor, your mouse cursor on the uh, the the window to come down? <laughs> All right, so let's see. Um, I feel like I feel like I'm playing with fire on this master on this. So I've got to reuse this. Let's see. Mechanical engineer. What do you mechanically engineer? All right. So, brake line banjo. Off we go. Didn't work. Probably should have cracked this before I took it off the handlebar. Sometimes I wonder what I do to myself. All right. So before I get into any more problems there, get the right tools. Get the right tools. Go. We broke her loose. So now we've got the master broken loose. So for you guys that are fresh here, um, that bike's incredible. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so uh, um, what are we doing? All right. So we are doing the brake master and the clutch master today um it was uh i didn't think sorry i'm here um i didn't think it was going to be as big of a job as it is but um yeah so neil what's up neil um yeah i didn't think i thought it was going to be an easy job actually i kind of started to do this as a diy and it just, I've, I've been at it for an hour already, just, um, you know, running everything, making sure everything is perfect. So, uh, your dream bike, 
It is. What, what is so? Um, what is expensive in your country, and what country do you live in? What's uh, what? What cost are we looking at? And let's get this. So I took that bolt off, and the bolt went pew. Oh, I think I have a new banjo bolt. New banjo bolt. New banjo bolt. Um, That don't make no sense. So this is, that not make any sense. So they included this big old bolt and three washers. I feel like that goes down there, but, huh. All right. And fourth one. All else fails, read the directions. Uh, okay, I get it. Um, Banjo Bolt, where are you? When I pulled it off, I don't know where it went. So these are my days. Um, Bogna, Bogna says I have this aura. And um, some of these days I just have these where just nothing goes right. Today is turning out to be one of those days. Um, I've had the bike since like the 1st of May. So I was one of the first people in the U.S. to get this bike. Um, I was lucky enough to i i wasn't on the list so but ducati allocated me one that was supposed to come in june but then of course all this sh shit happened um but uh which then kind of spooked me a little bit with my work because i work for myself i've got my own business so i was worried about um but uh things things have turned out okay but anyways the bike came in and i couldn't pass it up so i've had the bike and been building the bike since May, I think. So, um, we've had a few good, good little run. So I am currently, I'm currently on the look for the banjo. Oh, found the banjo bolt. <laughs> I was looking for the banjo bolt. So yeah, so we've had it for a few months. Um, and, uh, I, I've, I'll say this is this is honestly the absolute best bike I've ever owned. I love this thing. Uh, how many miles? I think I'm at three thousand or just about twenty eight hundred miles now. So a few miles, but you know, I love this bike. So uh, let's see. We're coming around. Let's see how we're gonna go in this thing. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to do, trying to do some stuff all at once. Yes, nice. Uh, yeah, I ride this thing, man. I got a, I got a garage full of bikes, and and this is the one, I definitely prefer to be on. It's definitely, uh, definitely my favorite. So. Can't get the bolt threaded. The bolt won't go in. The bolt won't go in. Uh, 
Uh, oh, let's see, because I'm, I'm interested. So, what... Um, Hundred, shut up. What? I I wouldn't have the bike. <laughs> Holy shit, Emmanuel, 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 Emmanuel. Yeah, sorry. Bad with names. <sighs> All right, Let's try this again. Yeah, but that's fucking ridiculous. Um. I think I paid 23 and then tax and license. Um, I bought it out of state, so I bought it in Nevada. Um, and so the, uh, got it. <laughs> um, bought it in Nevada, so I've got all the, um, it, it took a little while to get all the registration and everything for the bike because, um, it, of course, like I said, I bought it. A little hot in here. Um, I bought it when the pandemic first started. Oh, get a little breeze in here. Um, so, yeah, that sucked. Um, I It took... Almost six months to get license plates. So, oh, oh, just on me, I can't, can't have the door open. <clears throat> um, by the way, for you people that are just turning in, this is Bailey the macaw. He is a full flight bird. Uh, he's, come here, let me see. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, a full flight bird, so we don't snip his wings, so. You gonna go for a fly? Here, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Oh, you can't see him. Come on, buddy. Oh, he's mad now. Come but anyways, uh, I'm gonna turn on a fan here in a second. All right, so we have the master on. Sorry, um, I, like I'm supposed to be here with you guys. Um, just came up from my garage working on my S one thousand R. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. I wish the comments. I wish they would stay up here a little longer. Um, fully fledged Ducati riding pirate. Solid. Um, so, uh, Bogna has, I don't know if you guys watch the S1000R videos, but it's back there. I don't know if you can see the nose. Um, but, uh, you know, Bogna was really hoping that the S1000R, the new 2021, was going to have some changes to it. But um, I'm not sure that I'm impressed with the changes. And I'm, look, I'm a full, this is my first Ducati. So I've never had I've never had a Ducati before. Um, so I it's yeah it's my it's my first one. So a um, little bit of new learning to do, obviously. Um, but oh hi, Fluffy Bird. Oh, so the master is finally on. Um, all the wire the wires and everything I can button those up in a second but just want to get everything kind of correct here so of course this is not right so let's see just kind of messing with the messing with the wires Yeah, let's do that. 
There we go. Missing any of your guys's uh, comments. Um, I subscribe to your videos because I like that you do your own work. Uh, thank you. Um, thank you, sir. Um, what other bikes do you own? All right. Uh, I would make a hydraulic one that is black. Yeah, probably. Um, just came in from the garage. Um, Yeah, Emmanuel, I, I get it. Um, so, what other bikes do I have? So, we have uh, Bogna's 2018 BMW S1000R. We have, this is her, uh, right here is her full race R3. Uh, her Tuano uh, is at Shivs being fully tuned right now. So, we have a 2019 Tuano, the 2020 uh, Ducati Street Fighter. Next to that, we have the HP2 Sport. Next to that, we have the 2018 uh, R9T Racer, fully custom out. And then next to that, the big bike is the uh, 2019 Tiger 1200. So we got a few bikes in the stable. Yeah, English is fine. It's, look, <laughs> when you live in a country that a Ducati is $134,000, you get a pass from here. Um, very nice stable. I'm, I'm blessed enough to have it. Um, you know, I thank you guys. Look, some of the support comes from you guys, so I, I thank you guys. Um, that R9T is a monster. I, you know, I've been thinking about selling that thing. Um, I know, I know, people are gonna be like, no, but uh, yeah, yeah, it's 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 a nice little stable. I, I'm, you know, like I said, I'm 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 very blessed to have what we have, what we have, um, me and Bogman, we have, you know, very good jobs and, um, we've worked hard. Uh, I don't know, are you guys into the story? You guys want to hear story time? I'll tell you about my childhood? I don't talk much about it, but, uh, it'll give you guys some inspiration if you guys are interested. Um, but what we're doing right now, I got to, let's see. Uh, thank you. Time for a C. KLR? I'm not into the KLR. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't buy a KLR at all. Uh, and, and thank you. I, I, I try to have a good attitude. Um, oh, Snickers. Snickers like the KLR. Um, all right. Uh, what I'm working on here now is I got to get I got to get this stuff off. So um, for you guys that are uh, new on here, uh, I'll give you my little spiel of what's happening today. Bogna took the um, took the truck and has my work keys on the truck. And uh, I got to my shop today in her car. Well, I won't mind being in her car. But um, I got literally to the shop door and was like, I don't have a key. <laughs> this is fucking stupid. Um, 19 Tiger and oh, a Blackbird. Now you struck my interest. Now, um, I, I would, I was able to have a Blackbird for, uh, about two weeks. A friend of mine let me borrow it, uh, back in probably 2002, 2003. And I love that bike. Um, I absolutely love that bike. Blackbird with Snickers. <laughs> um, I love the Blackbird. Holy shit, the Honda. That that was that was the that was the bike. That was the bike. Um, the Kawasaki H, the ZH2. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it in person. I, I do love it too. Um, I haven't seen it in person. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not too big on the Japanese um, hyper nakeds like the MT10. I, I will give the MT-09. We had the MT-09, and that's, that's, what, that's what sparked this. Um, 
for the people that don't know and that are new to the channel and the understanding of um, how I got into Hyper Nakeds is um, I've always been into sport bikes. So I've never um, I've I've never had Hyper Nakeds. I've always been on crotch rockets. So um, it's kind of a whole new scene to me. But uh, I will tell you um, the MT-09 absolutely changed my world. Uh, I love that thing. I rode that thing at the track probably more than Bogna did. So, a bird. Uh, very nice. Yeah, the MT-09 was nice. Um, more of a straight line than the Street Fighter, but yeah. Um, yeah, I I, uh, I like that MT-09, man. It, it definitely was a cool little bike, so. Um, all right, just so you guys know where I'm at right now. So we have, uh, I have some new reservoirs. I'm going with CNC carbon fiber reservoirs. Uh, a, pull, a full H2, I might consider. I've looked at, I've looked at some used ones. It's a consideration. Um, but I wouldn't buy, I wouldn't buy a new one. Plus I'm not down to the Smackdowns. I'm not a Smackdown kind of guy. Uh, no, no shots fired. Actually, I met 650 last year. Uh, very cool guy. So, um, but I'm not a Smackdowner. I like to turn the wheels. Um, where are we at? So carbon fiber, CNC, this will be for this side. Um, I'm waiting for this side to come in. So. We're not sticking the, uh, those on yet, but because we're not sticking those on yet, I gotta get, had to get a new reservoir thing. So, um, yeah. Oh, this thing will dust everything in the corners, especially with my ride. Y'all have seen my riding. I, don't, I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay at it. Am I all right at it? Do I do a good job? <laughs> all right. Um, so we're sticking with the Rizoma still for now. Um, got a few adjustments to make on this thing. It really, I kind of like the clear, but uh, let's see what let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Uh, but but I hear I hear you. A couple people have made that comment. I have an MT09 two. Uh, you know, I'm I really. How can I stick this? How can I stick this up here? Uh, I have an F209 and old fire blade. Very cool. Very cool. Um, the speed triple was kind of cool, but I don't know. I don't know. Um, who's almost as good as Bogna? Who do you think taught that girl everything? Uh, speed triple is kind of cool though. Um, I'll get, I'll give it that. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Where are we going? Where are we going? Um, I think we've got to go like that. Like that. All right. Hands, hands are full right now, so quick intermission. <laughs> Plus, I got a bird on my shoulder. So how many people do you guys watch on YouTube that work on their bike in their garage in the middle of the day with a bird on their shoulder? 
we're talking about you, buddy. We're talking about you, you crazy little thing. All right, hang on. Don't comment right now. I can't. I got my hands full. I'm going to have to go back and take a break. I forgot to uh, put the reservoir mounts on. All right. Reservoir mount. Ooh, I kind of like that reservoir mount. Up, uh, oh, bird. All right. All right, sorry, let's get to the comments. Um, she is a weapon. Uh, yeah, she's she can ride. Um, Vespa, eh, you know what? You can make that Vespa as fast as you can make it. Um, you're, you're on two wheels, so uh, he does want to help. He wants to chew everything. Comment, comment. That's weak. And, uh, ah, thank you. Um, all right, so let's see, let's see. I'm a little bummed right now because, come on. All right, say goodbye to Bailey. He's a pain in the ass now. So you're going back to your perch. Alrighty, we're back. We're back. Uh, how? How? Hi, I'm not sure. I really like this setup. Oklahoma. Oregon, you're on fire too. <laughs> um, Oklahoma. Uh, you know, I was in uh, Snickers. I was in um, Ohio a couple weeks ago. And that's not near you. Uh, take that back. I flew from Ohio and went to um, uh, Texas. That's closer to you. Man, I don't know. Kind of bummed about the mounting situation right now, but. It's going to work, but it's. Uh, it ain't pretty. Yeah, last. Um, so yesterday, um, I woke up and. Uh, I woke up, so first of all, I slept through my alarm at 6.30, so I usually wake up, first alarm goes off at 6, second alarm goes off at 7, I usually kind of get up, uh, kind of see what's happening in the world, at about 7.30, I usually get out of bed, um, and um, the alarm went off at 7, and I turned it off, and then I went back to bed, and I, I ended up waking back up at 8, and it was fucking black outside still. And um, if you guys don't follow me on my Instagram, go over to Henderson, H-E-N-D-R-S-N, H-E-N-D-R-S-N. Um, and uh, you'll see there was ash all over the car. Um, it, was, it was an absolutely wild scene yesterday morning. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy. I've got like six wrenches in my hand. All right, I'll show you guys this here in a second. I'm going the wrong way. Sorry, concentrating. There we go. All right, so we've got the master on. All right, 
Let me, uh... Ooh, wait, speed trap in Germany. I gotta hear about this one because I hear they're not very good. Um, so R9T, much of a step down. Uh, R9T is a, it's a whole different bike. So hard, hard to really say. Um, R9T, it's, um, yeah, I mean, if, if you get like a, not a pure, but a standard, um, but it's kind of a different, it's a whole different style bike. So um, when you're looking at the S1000R, so here, let me flip this camera around. So Bogna's BMW S1000R, I'm gonna clean the lens camera. Um, but yeah, a little bit different. All right, so why we're here, why we're here. So we've got the new Master on, the Brembo Master, and the RCS Corsa Corta. So one down. Um, I'm not sure I like this line right now, but that's kind of how the uh, how the uh, master's sitting. I may have to go over a little bit on it. So all right, uh, flip this back around. Throw you guys back on the tripod. Um. It is a nuclear weapon. I will. I will say that. Oh. Ah, very nice. The Bali Islands. Um. So uh, let's see. So some of these jobs, um, so you guys know, I just, sometimes these jobs I just want to take my time on. This one, it's something I'll probably not change again, so I'm not going to mess with it. So um, we're going to do the master, I think, today. I think I'm going to wait for the, uh, I don't know, I might do the clutch side because I got everything here. So, um, but master is done. So reservoir. My little paper towel works wonders. Uh, let's see, let's see, where are we at? Get some towels, get some cleanups here. Let's see, I'm missing, I'm missing stuff, I'm missing stuff. Um, uh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, give me a thumbs up, smash the thumbs up. If you guys are, I, don't, I, I guess it's all to subscribers, so I guess you guys are all subscribers, so thank you guys, but thumbs up are always uh, more important than you guys know. The algorithm, now me and Bogna were marketers, we figured out the algorithm for um, YouTube. That's why we've kind of done so well. So, uh, but of course, you guys viewing is has been huge. So, um, thank you guys very much for viewing. So, um, all right. So we're gonna start getting some uh, fluid into the system. Now it might get a little bit noisy because I'm gonna use my bleeder here in a minute. So one of the tricks, if you guys didn't know about bleeding, if you guys watched the tube. So I just got the master open right now. And you can see it's actually filling up with fluid. 
So if you just open, so one of the tricks that I learned some time ago, if you zip tie your brake open uh, at night, it will um, actually fill, it will actually um, let the air, because air goes to the top, it'll let the air come out to the top. So uh, just an FYI. But uh, let's see, I gotta get back here. My airline. Airline. And my bleeder. All right, so how we're bleeding. Uh, throw that over there. All right, on to this side. And let me see. So I got this cool little bleeder. Let me see if I can tilt this thing down while I'm down here. Uh, I got the little bleeder here. I need. I'm not a big. I'm not a big beer drinker. Um, I do uh, enjoy the the occasional vodka. I will. Uh, I will gladly take some vodka after this. <laughs> um, I've already. Uh, oh, oh. Let me let me show you where we're at. Let me show you where we're at. So. Oh. Flip this around. So, uh, what do you think? New rotors. And... This is all... You guys are you guys are a little bit lucky. I try to keep... Um, I try to keep a lot of my stuff under wraps. I don't let out too many secrets, but... Uh, oh, I'm back. Uh, I usually don't let out too many of my secrets, but... Uh, all right. Oh, we're back. We're back. Nine. I need an eight. I need a little eight. All right. So, bleeder, 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 bleeder. Psh, psh, psh. So, what we do is we hook the uh, hose side up to one. So, we've got the compressor. And... right there and we're gonna hook this onto our bleeder once we get our wrench on there so crack open the bleeder all right so we're gonna crack it open and just leave it open and then this is the two-hander job. So we're gonna open up the master and we pull our bleeder, which is now sucking all the fluid in. I think I need to get a little bit more open. wrench Eight. Oh, welcome to today where nothing seems to be in the right spot nine nine eight
Starting to get a little fluid down there. Let's get a refill up here. All right, uh, let me check your guys' comments. Nothing yet. All right, thank you for not commenting while I'm not at the... All right. So let's go ahead and... So the only thing I really kind of hate about this Ducati, they put these banjo bolts in the back for the bleeder, the bleeder bolts. And it just makes for a flipping mess. So my only complaint with the braking system well, outside of that, actually, I really didn't like the braking system to original the original braking system, and then um, and then I got this thing at the track the other day. If you guys saw that video, um, but yeah, it was uh, the system really, really worked really, really well. So. All right, throw this thing to the other side. And I'll bring you guys back up here with me.
All right, um, let me see if you guys are on here still. Live chats. So we have the new uh, RCS master on. Uh, so we're just basically just bleeding the system right now. So, um, Starting to get there, starting to get there. So we are old fashioned bleeding. Getting there, getting there. I lost, I lost all my commenters, huh? Oh, all right, we're getting there, we're getting there. Starting to get a little bit of lever. Starting to get a little feel. It's definitely a little smushy. Uh, here we go, some comments. Uh, thank you for leaving me alone. I'm still here, all right. Um, Foil, oh, the foil on the window. Good eye. Dave Lemer. Oh, what's up, Dave Lemer? Um, Dave, uh, it's in the afternoon. In the afternoon, uh, the sun beats down in here, so I actually got it to keep it out, but I'm, I'm switching. So we've got new insulation that's actually going to go up on the windows. Uh, it's just to, just to keep the heat just keep the heat out of the uh, the windows or out of the garage in the afternoon because usually I'm working in here in the afternoon when I get home from work so yeah uh, Lemur are we gonna see you out on the 21st Dave Lemur was our uh, Cali track days um, teacher and he is now with Two Wheel Addictions. Oh, it gets hot here. Getting some air out of here.
Oh yeah. So this will probably be a couple times, a couple times. Got a couple good bleeds out of this side, couple good bleeds out of that side. Now we're gonna move top side to our master. We're gonna bleed that a couple times. So come on up here with me. And uh, let's see our final bleed. Like a 10 millimeter. Interesting. Oh, we're butter now, baby. We're butter now. Move this up one spot. There we go. So we can. There we go. Oh! Oh! My goodness! Hello, Brait! Holy shit! The master's like knee last, baby, knee last. Um, yeah, yeah, buddy. So the new uh, RCS uh, master is what we're working on today. Oh my, I am, I am definitely excited for this. Oh yeah, I am excited. Yeah, excitement level on this is, is definitely 100 right now. Make sure it's all snugged up. Oh yeah. Oh shit. All right, let me let me comment check. Yes, sir. Completely different question from Germany. Uh, what's your? I want I want a redraw. My my favorite is a redraw. Uh, completely redraw. I wouldn't vote. Um, I'm I'm not, I won't vote this year. I know people are gonna be like, oh my god, how can you say that? Um, I wouldn't vote for either of the two morons. I have in the past, I never talk about my politics, so I don't want to hear it, but I, in the past, I've been democratic. 
Um, but I believe in Republican stuff. I believe in Democratic stuff. I'm kind of, I'm a neutral party. I'm a neutral party. Um, honestly, I was, I was listening to Joe Rogan the other day, and Joe Rogan was like, Dwayne uh, Johnson, The Rock, needs to run for president. I would vote for that guy. I mean, I would, I would put The Rock in presidency tomorrow. The guy is smart, he's brilliant, he knows what he's talking about, he knows how to talk to the country, not like our fucking moron right now. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, you know, but, and, and then, you know, he's young, so he's not gonna be sleeping through no uh, 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 news conferences like the other fucking moron. So, it's tough. So, I wouldn't vote for either of them. I'm not gonna vote this year. I encourage everyone not to get out and vote this year. Don't vote. I'm kidding. Not, not like it makes a difference. Um, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, I fucking, yeah, I don't know. But anyways, on the flip side, we have amazing feel on the brakes. Whoo, boy. Uh, I'm going to go down below real quick and just get one more crack of the, uh, the master is really nice. Probably get these things zipped open real quick. Um, overnight, but uh, let me get it uh, cracked down below and then I'll be back up and we will button everything up on this side. I think I'm going to the clutch side. I think I'm going to do the clutch, so um, I might as well. I got the time right now, so I'm down here. I am digging this, you guys. Woo, yeah. I am very, very happy with the results. Yes, sir. All right, one more side. Bring you guys down here with me. All right, so um, we are on the final draw of the brake bleeding because we've replaced the master. We also did do um, brake pads. I got a DIY coming out about that. Real easy to do brake pads, by the way. So if you guys haven't done uh, your own brake pads, um, I'd encourage trying it. It's not that hard. All right. So this is this is where it gets fun. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh. Almost ran out of fluid. I heard a burp. All right, good. Goody, goody, goody. I like it. All right, so let me ask you guys a question. If you guys are here, here's a comment question. Um, 
who here watches DDE? I'm a, I'm a big DDE fan, Daily Driven Exotics. Who also watches the Stradman? So let me ask you guys a question about these two. So the Stradman just bought a Bugatti uh, with 21,000 miles on it. I was actually kind of surprised. I almost felt pretty clickbaited by the Stradman. Um, come on, bud. It's, I mean, I know it's a Bugatti and everything, but um, I mean, you bought like the cheapest Bugatti. I, I'm assuming that's gonna be a video. Uh, I bought the cheapest Bugatti in the world. Um, but uh, what do you guys think about Daily Driven Exotics? Do you think that Damon actually bought that McLaren P1? I don't think he bought that McLaren P1, personally. I think it's gonna be, I think he's gonna do a few things to that thing, but I think that that McLaren is gonna go pretty quick. I don't think he bought that. I don't think he bought that car. He said he was not gonna buy that car. Now, look, I wouldn't buy uh, Ducati Sedici, uh, uh, a Desmo Sedici. Uh, I wouldn't buy a $50,000 motorcycle. I mean, I know that, look, they're losing value right now. You can pick them up on, you can pick them up on auctions for forty, forty-two thousand dollars $42,000. Find them in dealers for fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000. So they're, they're going down in price. Um, but also, Daily Driven Goddix kind of gave a, a good point. If you guys, it's kind of like me, I would rather buy a lot of cheaper bikes and do a lot of work on them, put the money into the, right? Um, I mean, they even made a comment. Mm -hmm. They could buy uh, 10 seven, uh, 720s for the price of that McLaren. Why didn't they buy it? Why wouldn't you buy 10? I would rather buy 10 McLarens and have them in the garage than one P1. Personally, it's just up to me. But uh, comment down below. i uh, give you guys something to talk about. But uh, I'm going topside. I'm going to be uh, getting old. Uh, I'm going to bleed this master for the last time. And we'll take a look at it. And be done with this thing. I'm super stoked. It looks, it looks really, really fucking cool. All right, let's get one last little bleed on here. There's one bubble in the line, and I just pushed it out. There we go. All right, so I think we're good, and these brakes, they just feel tremendous. I like it, I like it. Let's get bleeder. that's pretty good all right let me grab you guys here you guys that are still around what's up all right uh so what we've been working on today why the big long video um so we've got the master all set up you guys can see um i've got the rizoma uh uh reservoir on there right now but this will be changed we're going to be changing these out but we've got look at this look at this break i mean it's like right there there's still this little last little air bubble that's just taunting me but uh we'll get it out it's all bled and everything like that um new rotors if you guys missed that so we've got new rotors new brake pads lines bled with all that and uh if you guys haven't heard um giving you guys just a little sneak peek of what's been going on on this thing um this video will be out uh probably next week um the clear clutch cover is not on yet it will be on next week 
Uh, let's see. What else do we got? We've got chain and sprocket. As you can see, the, the sprocket cover is gone. One of my winglets is gone. Uh, we've got um, the instrument cluster thing is gone. Eddie, uh, the rear cowl is gone. Eddie is going to be taking care of some additional stuff for me at Shred Dog Hydrographics. So if you guys don't know Eddie, uh, he's the one that painted the bike. Um, he's doing more uh, fake carbon fiber for me. Let me get this thing mounted. Uh, more fake carbon fiber. Oh. Huh. What's up? Um, nice. It is very nice. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Uh, clean the lens. Get you guys back in here. All right. Um, all right. And we. Oh. We are good. We are definitely good on the master. Um, I'm actually going to leave this off only because I'm going to leave this open for a night. So we'll leave that one off. <sighs> Let's see. I'm trying to get this last little. There's like a little bubble in here. It won't, it won't burp out. It's like the very last bubble. All right, so and on, we got brakes, brake switch is good. So I can start um, buttoning up all of this side. So we've got all these little uh, twist ties and stuff like that. So we're gonna get these all um, done. Let's see where I put that. This is the master, so don't forget about it. And the um, the little twist ties that Ducati did on these the little rubber band ties um, they are a good in theory but really they suck <laughs> um, yeah in theory, they're nice, but in, in reality, they kind of suck. So um, I think that's good. I think we've got another one that's got to go down there. And then we've got one that comes in here. We've got one that goes over there. I'm digging that right there and then that one and there is one that goes down here solid I will take it, and the brake is just, just. So we're at uh, motorwheels.com, Stefano over there, uh, super, super cool. Um, can't thank him enough for everything he's uh, helped me out with, um, as far as knowledge-wise. Uh, they, they don't, they don't give me any of this stuff, by the way. I don't have any. I don't have any sponsors like some people that you guys pay. Uh, I don't know. I've heard some of you guys, uh, they don't, you guys don't really like that format. Uh, I think some of you guys have made the comments that you would rather watch free videos of me working on my own bike in the garage than um, someone working on a bike that they're charging people to give away. Um, I'm not a big component of it. Maybe someday, <laughs> maybe someday, but I think honestly it would probably be something that I would probably do if I was as big as uh, some of these channels, um, maybe, but I don't know. I think it would be more of just a giveaway kind of thing, but um, 
yeah, I just love I just love doing this. So, and I love doing it for you guys. So that's also very nice. I'm gonna get a tasty beverage. Uh, what are you guys drinking? Um, who's drinking what? Where? Uh, I unfortunately, it's the middle of the day, so. I'm drinking a banger. Some of you guys are going to probably absolutely love this. Photoshop it if you want, but uh, I love my bangers. All right. Do we tackle this side? You guys want to tackle this side? Bourbon, baby, bourbon. Oh, I missed, I missed some comments. Uh, Dan the man, just ride. What's up, Dan man? Um, dizzy now. Oh yeah, sorry. Iced tea for me. What? How do you like your iced tea? Is it sun tea, instant tea, brewed tea? Do you like it sweet? Do you like it a little sweet? Come on, let me know. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna tackle this. I'm gonna let it run. So you guys want to stick around? Um, today's one of those days. I don't know. Um, sweet sun tea, baby. And my own heart, right there. Uh, I I would I would say I prefer that as well. Um, I would probably go that route. Uh, sun tea with a little bit of sweetener just a little bit right it doesn't need much now do you do sun tea do you put the sugar in the water and then the sun tea or do you put that's how, that's how i do it and do you use an old pickle jar <laughs> all right so we are working now on the clutch side we've got our bleeder down here um so we're going to locate everything so first things first i guess we're going to get into this so um first things first baby let's get this uh get this old fluid out of there and uh syringe we've heard syringe i've got a syringe let's let's start with the syringe let's start with the syringe and then we'll and then we'll top it off this is we're clearing we're evac um, well, see, there's the problem. <laughs> um, put my trusty little end on here. Someone said something. Who's talking about what right now? All right, Rick. See you, brother. Thank you for sticking around. Um, all right. This is just, see, this is just going to be a mess. All right. Got the majority of it out so I stick a paper towel in for the remainder and this can go there all right All right, guys, uh, welcome back. <laughs> if you guys are still here, um, for you guys new, uh, how much did you pay for the Street Fighter? Um, this would be, I think I am 23 tax license and registration, so I think I was 24, 25 out the door. So um, I know Emmanuel uh, over in Indonesia. Uh, comment down below, don't scroll through the comments, comment down below with who thinks they know how much a Ducati Street Fighter costs in Indonesia, US dollars. Comment down below. Um, I will tell you 
I wouldn't, I wouldn't have bought one. I'll tell you that much. I would not have bought one, period. I don't know why I just did that. I don't know that I needed to do that. Oh, because I got to take the reservoir off, so I didn't need to do that. All right. So let's see. Uh, let's see. If... Yeah. Um, just wild how much, you know, other countries charge for, I think he's like, since no one's commenting, 135,000 US dollars for a street fighter in Indonesia. I think that's where he said he's from. Yeah, it's, it's crazy, it's crazy. Crazy, crazy. The world is getting crazier. Uh, America, we are, we are becoming doomed soon. So we are doing a master replacement. Let me see. Hang on, I can't see what you're set. Do what you guys are talking about. So, hang tight for a minute. Oh, before I get this far, I learned my lesson um, earlier. I didn't take the banjo bolt off, and it was a little difficult to get it off. So, let's take the banjo bolt off first. Twelve mil and a rag. All right. Uh, Vanja Bolt first. All right, banjo bolts off. Um, I don't really like Harley's. Um, no, I don't. Um, but I will say my cousin just bought a Harley, and uh, it's actually the new the newer Harleys are starting to kind of look a little bit a little bit better. So um, I generally don't like Harley's, but. Um, his is pretty sweet looking, so, um, but no Harleys here. I don't think I'll, I don't think I'll own one, but who knows? Maybe someday when I get older. I'm already old. All right, um, so now the fuss, the fuss about the switch. So there is a clutch switch on this which my understanding is I don't see how you can take it off. So I think I'm going to have to unplug it, which means now I'm going in through the wire harness. So. Oh boy, yeah, this is uh, this is a tedious job here. Definitely not something that. Uh, I guess I'm, I'm glad I'm, I'm glad I'm doing it now that it's I got nothing else nothing else to do today. But um, This is getting to be a mess. 
So I got to get in here and find the wire harness, but we've got this thing leaking all over the place. Oh. Um, this is that. This is that. All right, so I'm going to release this one. Back this one. Yeah, boy. Oh, boy. Just. Wah. Fresh towel -y. So this is the old clutchy switch. So we're disconnecting the clutch switch because the new one doesn't have one. So now what I have to forcefully do is pull my switch through the tunnel, which it's, uh, it's gonna be a tough one. hoping that I can get this old switch off, but it doesn't look like... Do you guys know? I can... Yo. Oh, is it ringing? Um, what's he working on? Uh, Alright, so we are doing the RCS... Let's see... Um, I am finishing this project because I would like to write it this weekend. Um, track day on the 21st. And um, make new contributions to the windscreen. Windscreen's gone. I took it off immediately. Um, and I'm working on the um, master cylinders. So we're replacing the masters. Right now what I'm fighting with is... Let me zoom this down so you guys can actually see the bike. So we've got the clutch cable and I'm trying to get this clutch cable through, but it is fighting me. It is fighting me. So I might have to snip it and pull it through. It is probably what I'm going to have to do. Yeah, so I think that's the final decision that I'm going to make, only because I'm tired now. <laughs> um, Stefano said, well, let's, let's, look, let's look and see what's going to happen. So he told me that it's in neutral. All right, so it'll start, but it's in first. Yeah, so the problem is, is when it's in gear, it's not going to start, but let me try something. I think I'm going to have to do a resistor between the two.
All right. Uh... All right. So we've got the the problem that we have right now is we have the. Um, the new master doesn't have a clutch switch. So I'm bridging it right now just to see if this works. Um, obviously I'll do a resistor later um, because I don't have, well, it's just not gonna start in gear right now. So is what it's gonna be. So that's the, that's the final verdict because I've, um, I, I can't have, yeah. There's no clutch switch, so. Yeah. yeah. Um, off we go, and snippy snip we go. Because I've got to get this pulled out because it's hung up. Ah. All right. We're making progress, guys. We're making some progress. Um, it's slow going progress, but we're making some progress. I'll take it. Uh, that's why. <laughs> that's why I came inside there. And that, that, banjo bolt. I got a banjo on my knee. All right. Yeah, my phone has probably been blowing up. Um, let's see. Shiv is texting me. All right, I'm back. We're live again. Shiv was texting me. He's working on the... Uh, the Aprilia. And we are working on the Ducati today, guys. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do here, because I'm going to have an extra, so I'm going to have to mount this one. It's just, it's inevitable. It's going to have to happen. It's going to have to happen. It's a little weird. That one, this one comes with, like, different nuts than the 19... Um, okay, MT-09 is what we had. It was not the FZ. Uh, pull this up here. So we had the MT-09. Uh, I love that bike. Uh, absolutely love it. Um, me and Bogner were just talking about it the other day. I'm a little bit low-key bummed that we got rid of it because it was a fun bike. The problem is that we just weren't using the bike. So it didn't make any sense for us to continue to have it. Um, we're kind of big... We're kind of big believers of the, you know, if we're not using it, we're not going to keep it. Um, uh, thank you. Um, yeah, so the MT, the MT-09 was a, a, an amazing bike. We love the, we love the MT-09. So um, I've got almost nothing bad to say about it. The suspension could have used a little bit of help, but, um, you know, I'm a bigger person. <laughs> and... Um, and uh, that suspension just, it, it worked for me, kinda. I made it work, but it kinda worked, so. Um, yep. So I, I, I enjoy the MT-09. Uh, MT I don't think that I would like get an MT-10, unless they're gonna do something dramatic with it. Um, and they really have to do, 
kind of what Ducati did here. You know, everyone's, Ducati really made this thing, um, the hyper nakeds have to step up their game at this point. Um, uh, thank you. Thank you, Dan. Um, yeah, Ducati, Ducati really made Aprilia and everybody, y'all you, got to step up your, your game now because um, you guys, it, it just, it's, it's, it's a horsepower, a race for horsepower now. So, um, BMW, you guys have to step it up. You guys are going to have to get, you guys have to get the horsepower. You have to do the horsepower. Um, if you're not going to do the horsepower, you're going to lose the game. Um, because I can tell you right now, you know, a lot, a lot, a lot of people are uh, switching over to Ducatis because the... Um, sorry, I'm looking for some pegs. Uh, yeah, Ducati's really, they've, they've done a number, you know, they've, they've really made this thing, um, where you really have to, BMW and, and even Aprilia, you know, I was surprised with the lack of, I'm looking for the bolt for the, oh, they're inside, um, I was surprised with the initial dyno. Uh, Shiv has got the uh, Aprilia right now at the dyno. Um, he actually texted me. So we are um, we're in the midst of getting that thing dynoed. But he uh, he said that it's it is um, it is definitely not not taking up the horsepower. Would you uh, would like to see though? The Tawano compared, it's coming. Um, you know, we haven't 200 horsepower on a street bike. 100 is perfect. Uh, I agree. I agree. 200 is a lot. But, you know, when, you're, when you get, start getting that, um, BMW needs an upgrade. They're, they're getting it, I hear. Um, but I, I also hear that they're not really doing much to the motor. My understanding is they're also going to be still detuning that, um, detuning that bike, which is a real big kind of disappointment. The, the S1000 needs to, uh, they need to step the S1000 up. They, they need to, it has to, um, but it's, yeah, so. All right, so what I'm kind of working on right now is the uh, new reservoir for the clutch side. Because it doesn't come with one. And I think I want to do a 90. Because I don't want to go straight down. I don't want to do that one. So, um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, BMW has to, they, they have to, you know, they're, so word is, they are doing a, um, they are doing the new motor. But my understanding is it is the XR motor which does not have shift cam technology. Um, I've never tried a Super Duke R. Um, I actually did look at buying one and the dealer just, they wanted so much and you gotta pay this for that and you want the quick shifter, it's more. And then I'm like, I bought the Aprilia. I got the, I got a steal on that Aprilia. Um, I can't, I ain't even, I can't even tell you what I got that thing from Eurocycles for because um, I think I'm under a disclosed contract that says I can't say how much I got it for. Um, so, but I, I really, I really, really do like the, uh, uh, the Ducati. I think Ducati is on the top of the game, but um, yeah. So uh, the BMW... Um, as my understanding is that they are, uh, it is no shift cam technology, um, which is disappointing because, you know, that's what people want. That's what people kind of want. Shift cam technology wasn't, uh, how hot is that bike so far? Uh, it's pretty damn hot. <laughs> um, how in the world? 
good question. Uh, All right, sorry, I've been messing with this brake, brake reservoir. Um, it, it doesn't come with the, uh, the little nipple on the bottom. It, it installed. They give you three options. So this is the new CNC one that we're putting on the, the uh, clutch side. I'm still waiting for the brake side. So... I think that's it. I think we got her. So I think the problem that I'm gonna have now though is let's see, we're going this way. This way is oh going. There we go. So um new CNC carbon fiber brake reservoir and it's uh it is real carbon fiber i know some of you guys love to hate on me um ktm is too much plastic for me yeah i yeah i don't know um you know everyone says that the ktm is is a real fun bike but um i'm not a i'm not a uh big torque guy um i don't really care about torque i don't like to ride torque that's why i i, I guess you can kind of say i've never had uh, a Ducati before because I never really uh, liked to ride a twin. So um, for me, yeah. And I think yeah. So um, yep, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. That looks good. That looks real nice. Really nice, you guys. So, I don't know, um, so, uh, I don't know who's all here from the beginning. Um, Bogna took my truck today, and she's at the ranch, and she took my shop keys. So I couldn't go to work today um, because, well, she's got the shop keys. So, um, yeah, I'm all <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. That's just what I do, I guess. Um, it's, it, you guys are definitely not making this an easier job. Um, where's my drink? Let's have a drink. Let's toast, you guys. Let's toast to a mid-afternoon. I kind of feel like it's Friday. Um, I might take tomorrow off, too. These reservoirs are awesome, bro. By the way, um, yep, clear clutch cover. Uh, 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 uh. Um, yeah, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Clear clutch cover, people are complaining. There's one guy that complained about it because, anyways, um, I won't have a leaky clear clutch cover, I promise you. Um, and I also didn't do a dookie bike. Uh, no dookie bike on this on this bike. I'm not doing any dookie bike. Um, it's CNC, so, I don't know, some dookie bike people might say uh, CNC's garbage, but I don't know, I like I like the simplicity to it. These, these reservoirs look, really really nice really nice and clean um but yeah i'm just not a big the, the duke of bike stuff <laughs> um the duke of bike stuff i'm not a big fan of the duke of bike it's all cut up and it's got you know 
Duke a bike all over it. I, I'm not into it. I didn't say nothing about Campisi. Jared, look, Jared's got his thing. Um, he's uh, he's got a great channel. I watch his channel. I've watched his channel for years, so uh, kind of for years. But um, you know, he's got a different style than me. I like to work on my own stuff uh, where the other YouTubers don't, uh, except for the one guy. There's one guy down in Atlanta that's starting to work on his own stuff with other people that uh, work on their stuff. But I, uh, yeah, I like to just work on my own stuff. Uh, the times, the times that I have somebody else work on my stuff it's either a bigger job that i'm just like i don't want to tackle kind of like the clear clutch cover i just haven't wanted to tackle that job um it's going to be a two-hour job which is <laughs> what this is taking right now but um yeah i just um i i talked to um eurocycle sonoma or eurocycle uh reno and they they said i can film them doing it we, we fell through about a month ago uh, we we're supposed to be doing the um, uh, quick shifter recall, and it, it there were some issues. So we got that all sorted out now. But um, I'm going to be up there not this Friday, but next Friday. So clear clutch cover. Um, no, there won't be any leaking. So we don't need to worry about that. Um, um, so I met I met 650E last year, and. Um, People love his channel because most of his girlfriend. Uh, I don't. I don't want to talk about the girlfriend thing because I'm with most people. I. I don't think it's. I. There's a time and place for some of this stuff and for what she posts. Um, me and Bogna don't agree with that. Um, look, I, I think some of you guys are here for Bogna. Some of you guys enjoy seeing Bogna, and it's great. I think I love having Bogna on the channel. Um, but. We, Bogna does reply to all the comments, um, and she, um, you know, we delete, we delete the inappropriate stuff, um, be usually, generally, quickly, before people can see it, stuff like that, um, but as the channel's getting bigger, it's harder to kind of stay up on, you know, I mean, I can't imagine, you know, he, he released a video, and he's got hundreds of comments on it in, in the first couple days, you know, so it's, it's hard to monitor that. So I wouldn't, I don't want, I don't want my channel to be about that. What I want my channel to be about is the love that I have. This is a kind of a, what they call a life channel. Um, I love motorcycles. That's it. I've always loved motorcycles and I want to share the passion with you guys. And I love cars and I love my truck. And um, me and Bogner, we do some fun stuff and we want to be able to share that with you. And, and that's what this channel is all about. I'm not about building bikes to give it away. Will it happen someday? Yeah, look, if I become a YouTube millionaire, sure, I'll give you, I'll give you guys a bike. But this is my bike. I love this bike. Uh, it's the best bike I've ever owned, so I don't want to give it away. Um, and nor do I want to get into any of the sponsorship stuff. Um, I've, I've talked to a couple different um, companies that work with a couple other YouTube channels that badmouth them. I don't want to be badmouth. Um, I don't need to be badmouth. Um, I... Um, I pay for everything, everything I pay for. Every once in a while, um, you know, Moto Wheels gave me the little speedy wheel adjuster and the little sliders up front. Um, but everything that I'm doing today, I paid for all this the other day, cash money out of my pocket. Um, so, amen. Yeah, you know, I'm, I, I pay for everything. Um, I, I, Moto Wheels, they're in my backyard, so they're, uh, you know, 45 minutes from my place. Uh, Stefano is so damn helpful and he knows his shit so um i i like to support local businesses and stuff so um i did just drop six thousand dollars with them um a couple days ago and so it came out of my pocket um but i love it and i'm doing it for you guys and i'm doing it for me because i love this bike and this bike is just one of a kind and um i want to stay on top of being the best i want it to be um I don't want to be too competitive, but uh, I, yeah, some of you guys have to admit, this is probably one of the baddest street fighters on YouTube. Uh, there's no questions about it. Um, that's why we love your channel, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and that's why we love you guys. I mean, we try to stay interactive. This is the first time I've ever done a video like this 
But it was like, hey, you know what? Let's throw it up. Let's let's have you guys out on the channel, uh, hang out with me. I know there's uh, 24 of you guys on right now, but um, for you guys new, we are we, the the rant <laughs> wasn't about other YouTube channels. We're we're actually replacing the master of the um, the uh, brake master and clutch master uh, cylinders. So we've got the brake on. And we're doing the clutch right now. Um, no fluid, no nothing in there yet. But um, yeah, so thank you guys for your support. Uh, drinky time's almost over. I get it back to work. Um, where are we? Where are we? We were down there. We're back here. We're on here. So this is going to be, this is kind of crazy. I don't know how that's going to work. Um, the line is like gonna be like <laughs> I do have fat fingers by the way so um let me hang on don't leave me yet I know I'm not on the screen you're gonna be like where, where, where's it all um I'm looking for my line All right. Can we say welcome back to the channel? <laughs> um, all right, so we are here. Yeah, so this is, uh, it's gonna be a little challenge. Pliers. Um, all right, so let me ask you guys, let me ask you guys a question. What's going on next with this thing? What do I need to do next? All right, all right, we're on there. What's what's next? Come on, come on. What's next? So I think I've got to take this off. So finagle, all right. Um, tidy tail, tidy tail's done. I've already done that. Um, red tubing, really? I don't know. Um, hell of a ride. Uh, so you've got, you're going to have your hell of a ride this weekend. Uh, I am going to be, uh, doing a ride on Saturday with some of my friends. Bogna is, is going to be at a horse show. So if you're here for Bogna, sorry. Um, black tubing, I know. You know, I kind of like the clear tubing. I don't know. I, I kind of, I kind of like it. So sorry. I think the clear tubing is staying. Everyone has black tubing, and don't call it black tubing. You're racist. Sorry, I just had to throw that out there. Um, I like the clear tubing. Clear tubing is gonna stay. What else? Uh, tidy tail. You know, I might change the tidy tail. What do you guys think of uh, V4 Evo's um, tail light? Have you guys seen that? And if you have seen that, what do you guys think of that? And low key getting upset right now because. The the master is fighting me right now. All 
I do like, um, I do like that it's kind of hidden a little bit. up once it's tight and then go down with it there we go oh i like that i like it that's fucking clean can you see it yeah let's 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 get your opinion on this because um it, it's it's pretty clean it's Pretty straight line. Uh, all right. Um, let me see. Sorry, dizzy people. Can you name that exhaust? What's that exhaust off of? All right. Uh, all right, we're back. Sorry. Sidetrack today. Today is just pure sidetrack day. All right. I like it. Um, not my camper. Uh, you know, we had a, me and Barca, we had a motorhome and um, we sold it. We just never used it. You know, it was, it literally sat on the side of the, of the house. We used it when we were doing the track day stuff, but when we stopped the track days um, and we closed uh, Cali track days, we, uh, we just never used it. So, Pro taper bars. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I want to go bars. I really, these are comfortable bars. So I kind of like these bars. So I may, I may stick with these bars. Um, we'll see, but, uh, I'm really, I'm really digging the master and everything. Um, it really, really looks nice. So let's see, let's clean this flipping mess up. These can go here. That can go there. This can go here. This Keep this here and um, lubes and stuff. All right, sorry, I cleaned it up after myself. All right, yeah, um, here, let me let me get back to the comments real quick. Um, the V4 Evo tail looks like it would flow better. Yeah, um, I, I don't, I don't really like the, um, uh, new age cycle tail, the blinkers. I'm just not a big fan of it. I have it on R9 T racer. And, um, when I ordered, ordered this one, um, I just, I just really wasn't sure that I was going to want it on this bike. Um, but of course, you know, when I bought, when, when I got everything for this bike, first of all, you know, I had a pioneer with this bike because there was nothing available for this bike. So, um, you know, everything that you guys see, I've had to do, um, um, the, the, for this, for this, it'd probably take about. 10, 15 minutes, swap it out if I wanted to put the passenger one on there. But, um, you know, a lot of uh, what I was saying is that a lot of the, uh, a lot of this, you know, with the exhaust, the aero exhaust, you know, I was the first person to put this on and um, it was not to fit. It wasn't supposed to fit. In fact, um, you know, um, aero actually contacted me and asked for pictures and, you know, what's, what's wrong with it, what doesn't fit, what does fit, how'd it go on. And honestly, it's, um, 
I have to say I'm 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 happy with this exhaust. I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't ask for uh, I wouldn't ask for it any other way. So, um, all right. So this is might be a problem. Get back out pretty far. We'll have to see if we have to adjust that. It's um, hitting right below the uh, the switch. So we'll have to see how that goes once we get it bled and everything. Um, I'm good. I think I'm ready for some fluid. And ready for some bleeding. It's a biggie. I think this is a 12. And... Eleven. All right, uh, we're just getting the system bled. So get the master bled, and then we're going to run all new fluid through this thing. So um, we're just kind of getting all the... I can hear it in the lever, so that's good. Getting all, all the air. And I think we're good there. Pull this off. And this actually got to come around because we're going to go down to the clutch, which is down here. But I want to make sure we don't have any leaks up here, no leakage. Good, 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 good. <sighs> Let's see if we got comments, comments, comments. Come down here with me, guys. Uh, Berlin, one wait, one thirty nine p.m. No, a.m. Right? It's not when it can't be. It can't be that. Um, rapid and white. Why in the world? Uh, what country is Bogna from? Uh, sorry, the the stupid comments don't stay up very long. Um, oh, I don't even want to get into this. This has been, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother video. Uh, Bogna is originally from Poland and, uh, she grew up in Germany. So, uh, she is, uh, technically Polish, but she is a... German citizen, I believe. And then uh, she moved to the U.S. a few years ago. 
Um, I met her four years ago now. Sorry, I need my concentration right now. So let's see if I can suck this through. Open this all the way. Oh yeah, baby. We have a solid clutch now. Yeah, it's going good, it's going good. I'm just trying to get all the old fluid out of the line. Make sure it's all fresh fluid. I'm digging, digging it. Now, hopefully, it works. <laughs> ah. uh, all right, let's bring you guys back up, back up here. Um, all right. So, uh, two hours and twenty-two minutes. Uh, if there's anybody here, anybody in the OG chat. Um, I appreciate you guys sticking around, definitely. Um, I'm a little worried about the clutch, though, and the levers. Because they kind of hit the lever. I, it might, I may need to come over a little bit on this, because it hits, it hits, like, right here. But I don't remember where the other one hit. All right. Anybody got a Street Fighter? Uh, if you can go out and look at it, what I'm looking for is the bump here. Does it hit on the plastic piece above the flash, below the flasher? Does it hit there? I'm not worried about the brake side. I am doing a clear clutch cover. Um, Uh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, check check that for me. I appreciate it. Uh, at what age do you start riding the track? I, you know, li little Jack Roach, if you guys know my little Jackie, uh, he was like 12, I think, when he started riding the track. Um, you got to be responsible to ride the track. So, uh, the clear clutch version, um, <laughs> the clutch seems satisfying. It is. Thanks, bro. Um, yeah, it's it's you know the, the this whole this whole job was the reason why I kind of went live is I was actually gonna film this for you guys, but um, I just realized that it's just this was a bigger job. Um, you guys haven't helped me with my time because I've bullshitted with you guys a little bit, but. Uh, 
and it's it's all good. Um, I would say this is probably you know I've been at it for two and a half hours on this live stream, but um, I would say uh, I was probably a half hour into it tearing stuff apart, and I'm gonna probably be maybe another half hour into it, so maybe an hour into it. So you know it's probably a two it's a, probably a good two hour job. So this is. Definitely something that takes a little bit more time. So this is not something that I wanted to do a DIY. But I did do a DIY for you guys on the brakes, replacing your brakes and cleaning your uh, calipers and stuff like that. So if you guys um, watch out for that video, it'll be out in a week or so. Um, but ah, here we are on this beautiful. Ah, I just love this thing. Ah, just. I just can't get over it, man. I can't get over how gorgeous it looks. Eddie with Shred Dog has just done an amazing job on this thing. Um, I think I gotta get a cable over here, button that thing up. Masters up there. But um, yeah, I just, man, I can't get over this thing. It's, it's just gorgeous, I love it. It rides amazing, best bike I've ever owned. Um, by far the best bike I've ever owned. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm old school, so I've ridden all the, you know, non-electric bike or, you know, non-electronic bikes, the bikes that are all manual. I've been on all that. A lot of people are like, wait, well, you don't need all this, you know, the electronics and stuff like that. Um, but yeah. It doesn't. Okay. So I'm wondering if I need to pull this closer all right so thank you uh, in, uh, instead of watching uh, TV I prefer to watch you work on your bike hell yeah thank you um, also um, hydraulic for the rear uh, sorry uh, hydraulic for the rear brake. I, I don't use a rear brake. <laughs> so, um, so probably not. Oh, bring you guys down here. Um, oh, the R9T Ethan. What's up, brother? How's that, uh, how's that thing treating you? Um, you know, I've ridden that, that R9T probably once or twice. Fuck. Um, how do you love, do you love that, um, do you love that pipe or what? Let me know. Um, sweet. And I, you know, some people say it demands, some people say that the Street Fighter, um, demands to be ridden. Oh. Um, I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know. Look, you gotta, you gotta know how to ride this bike. You can't just hop on this thing and be like, you know, um, but you guys see how I ride it. I mean, I love this thing. Um, I don't think I've really had too many oh shit moments on this. There's been a couple times the electronics kicked on and been like, cool the fuck down, um, which I appreciate. <laughs> Thank you, Ducati. Um, but you know, when the electronics come on and I know it comes on, when it is clearly invasive, then it was, I, I, I need to cool down, right? So it's, I, it, it's, the electronics are invasive when they need to be invasive. So, um, I, I don't, I, I, I like the electronics. It's an easy bike to ride. Um, Bob has ridden it once, I think. You guys watched that video. Um, and she liked it. Um, she's been on the Tuano a lot lately. Um, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> uh, for you guys that are, that are coming in new, let me, uh, I gotta grab the bird. And I'm going to the other side of the bike anyway, so hang on, because this thing's squawking at me. What? All right, sorry guys. Uh, I had to grab Bailey. He's in there squawking. If you guys aren't familiar with Bailey, Bailey is Mama Call. Hi, bye. Let's see if he sees himself. Hi, buddy. Hi. He's my boy. Um, so we're going to take him 
over here so he can kick back in the background. Um, someone just comment. Let's see. Um, it's so loud. It does sound like a plane, which is crazy. It, it's it and and same with the R nine T MT O nine guys. Yes, uh, can't decide which uh, super naked to go with in twenty twenty. Uh, Tawano twenty twenty one Tawano MT ten uh, MT ten's got to make some major changes in order to uh, to get my vote. Um, I'm not. I'm still not in. I haven't ridden the Tawana, by the way, you guys. So, uh, but I'm not in. I'm not impressed yet by the Tawana. So, um, yeah. So, uh, so the Tawana would have to have. We got to have some major stuff going with that Tawana. Uh, but the MT10 also has to really have some good stuff going on with it in order for me to get that 10. So, or those, th that as my, oh. so, yeah, I'm not really, I'm not really uh, going for either one of those, honestly. Sorry, I'm trying to like clean up and, and I think this is, I think I'm going to pull this thing next to it. See if I can come closer. Sorry, guys. I'm panicking with the uh, with the lever. Yeah, I think I'm going to go there. Yeah, I'm going to go closer because now it doesn't hit and it goes all the way in so um i had not got a dynote after the arrow so no but soon um can't get along with the fact that the street fighter doesn't have cruise control i agree i'm really upset that they don't have cruise control um yeah so and um Um, it, it's not, it wasn't, it wasn't the fact that it's just where the Brembo lever, uh, hit it. I could change it. So what I did was I've actually just moved it in towards the lever and, uh, it looks like it's, it looks like it's, it's good now. So, um, it's not hitting now. It's just where the curve of this lever was hitting. So what's up Bailey? See the bird back there? Um, so yeah, it looks it looks fine now. So, and just checking the. There was a little bit of uh, brake fluid on there. Yeah, moving it, uh, moving it in, I think, was the right thing. Um, I'm just going off of the spot that I mounted it where Ducati had Ducati had the other one mounted. So, what's up, Bird? You to say hi to Bailey? Hi, Bird. Come on. Hang the button. <sighs> Um, the, this one was $250 US dollars. This one was $355. I think these are three, 300 or 355 for the Corsa Corta. The Corsa Corta allows you to adjust not only the, the lever, but the hydraulic pin. So I figured 50 bucks more, I might as well just get the best of the best. Um, and this was like $250. So, um, 
not not too bad. Um, yeah. uh, sorry, another. Um, I don't think that the Ducati windscreen is going to provide me anything. So you know the 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 um, power bronze is big. And I'll put it on at the track. So it's it's sitting over here. I'll put it on at the track. You'll see it on my track videos. Uh, I'll be at the track on the 21st. But um, I I would love to have more wind protection. I get that I bought a naked and everything like that. Um, oh, someone's saying hi, Bailey. Um, I get that it's a I get that it's a hyper naked and everything. But at the same time, you know, I really. Uh, um, I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure that I would want to spend that to get it and not give me any protection. So, uh, Sorrell down in, um, in LA, he's got one. Um, maybe next time I'm down there, I'll check his out, but, um, I don't know. Bird's back. Hi. All right, bird's going back now. Okay. Uh, all right, guys. Um, I'm gonna wrap. I think I'm gonna wrap up the video because you guys are killing my time here. Um, three hours. I enjoyed sticking around with you guys, but uh, I don't know unless you guys want me to let it just run. But I gotta get I gotta get this all buttoned up because um, I don't know it's not like I have anything to do. <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys think? You guys are just gonna hang around? So I'm going to have to pull this off and get that peg in there a little bit more. Thank you, Frank. Um, thanks, Dan, for sticking around. Um, the garage door is insulated for heat and sound. Um, and thank you, Frank, for loving the channel. Um, I'm going to suck this brake fluid out because I gotta pull this thing off. I don't know why I didn't think of that earlier. <laughs> problem that I have right now is the adjustment on here and maybe what I'll do I wonder if I can move that thing back
Sorry, I'm here, guys. I'm just uh, fucking around with this reservoir. It's just not 100%, so just trying to make it perfect. Just trying to make this thing perfect, baby. All right, I'm liking it better. Um, let, me just, let me get your guys' comments real quick. Uh, uh, no more comments. All right, so we are here, and we are here. Put this on here. It's uh, it's just one minor little, one minor little detail that's bugging me. Just a little bit of um, it, it wasn't clearing. It's not clearing right. I don't like it. I don't like it. So I want to clean this back up and just, um, you know, I'm uh, what. If you guys don't know, uh, if you guys haven't realized, I'm kind of meticulous on things. I want to make sure that they're done right, they're done perfect. Um, when you half-ass stuff, it really, uh, it costs you in the end, right? So we all know this, right? Um, whenever we rush on something, you know, we get, we do something too fast and it always, it always ends up acting up. So um, I wanted to make sure that this clutch reservoir is a, a thousand percent i think it is now it was kind of pushing up against the uh the bar a little bit so let's just get it right get it right baby
Mucho better. I don't know, I don't know Spanish, so sorry. <laughs> oh, I even said it that way. Much better, much better. Um, I just was able to get a better angle on that, uh, on that line. So now what I have to do is kind of make it fit for there. Oh, disappointment is an under, is an absolute understatement on the range on this thing. Um, disappointment, disappointment. Um, do you know how much I get made fun of when we go and ride? Bogna's S1000 can almost get two gas station stops before I can. So it's, yeah, it's, disappointment is an understatement uh, for the wording of the fuel the fueling issues that this thing has. I think I'm happier now. Much happier. Uh, so the radiator covers um, again. Um, so it's one of the first mods. I'll come down here real quick and show you guys. So the radiator covers. You see, there's a little bit of silver on the sides. So these are off the Panigale, um, and it was before anybody knew if they were going to fit or not. Um, it was. It actually, the very first mod that I did to this bike um, on most of my naked bikes, well, I mean, the Aprilia was the first thing, the, the BMW S1000, radiator guards on it, um, the uh, R9T racer, the oil cooler, radiator guard, uh, the Triumph radiator guard, um, everything's got a radiator guard. So um, it, it, it just, it looks better, but it also prevents the damage. So I've seen people just get little little pissers right out of it. I mean, things can still get through it, but um, but this radiator guard is a Panigale radiator guard, which is slightly smaller than the Street Fighter one, so the one specific for it. But um, it doesn't bother me enough that I'm gonna rip this thing apart because it was a couple hour job to pull, you gotta pull all these sides off and everything to get to that. So um, it's staying the way it is, but this is the Panigale one. So is it worth it? Absolutely. One of the first mods, like I said, one of the first mods we do on all of our bikes, um, I would highly recommend doing it uh, to anybody's bike. So uh, definitely so. Um, yeah. All right, let's try this again. Yeah, I got air in the line, so I'm gonna have to re-bleed. Re-bleed.
Uh, we're just bleeding the system right now. So I think that's good enough for down there. Baby. Kind of a big job. Oh, there we go. Me like. Me like it a lot. All right. Try this again. <laughs> so, um, if you guys are just coming into this uh, three hour, to welcome to hour number three of our very first live video. Um, I've just been kidding with you guys in the garage, so. Um, Wait, James, James, you're here. James, what's up, brother? Um, I, I, I talked about you earlier, James. So um, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to type and comment, but um, so the fucking farm truck has been in the shop for another two fucking months. So since you saw it last, you know, I kind of, I put the new turbo on it and everything. And um, I took it to a guy I, and then I had to take it to another fucking guy and um, nobody wants to work on that 6.5 anymore. And so I called this guy up in Napa and was like, hey, I got the fucking farm truck. I got everything. I got everything. All I need you to do is install the fuel system into it. I got a high pressure fuel system, a better fuel system and just some basic stuff that probably I would say, I mean, the guy quoted me like $1,000. So what's $1,000 at California shop rate? That's like a day's worth of work. It's been there for two fucking months. So um, I talked to them yesterday. They were supposed to call me today and she has not called me today. She said that they were working on it yesterday. When I called, she said that they were working on it. And um, so I've been waiting. But I love that thing and I've been able to drive it in like two months. I drove it over there and left it and I specifically told the guy, I was like, I don't want this thing sitting here for a month. Don't let my truck sit here for a month, right? No, 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 no. And it's been sitting there for two months. So he's like, oh, it won't sit here for a month. It'll sit here for two months. Um, so 
the farm truck is, it's, I know. I know, James, but thanks for the support. How are you feeling? Um, how's the leg? How's the knee? How's the, how's the everything? Comment down below. <laughs> Um, good mechanics are really hard to find. Um, mechanics are mechanics are hard to find. Like um, mechanics that want to work on cars now. The the problem that we have nowadays is nobody wants to work on a car, right? Um, man, get better, dude. Get better. Uh, we need you out there. Come to California, you, man. You have a job fighting fires. Jesus Christ. Um, I really love these these uh, clutch these clutches. Um, I only have one of the carbon fiber, and then I have one of the old Rizoma. But uh, man, I really like this. It looks really good. So. And I like you. Um, all right, I'm going to start buttoning things up, cleaning up. I got to clean up a little bit. Make sure we are all good all the way around. Yeah, come visit then. All right. I, I, I get you. I Look, if it, if it wasn't for this weather... Um, James, I wouldn't want to be here in California either, but you know, I can't, you know, th thinking about riding anywhere else in the U S it's just, it's, it's tough to, it's tough, man. So, um, I don't know that I would want to be, you know, me and Bob, when we talked about, talked about Texas, we talked about, um, we've talked about a couple different a couple different places, but you know, we just, the weather here, it's just, I can't, I can't get over the weather. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's riding weather. So yeah. Um, where, where are you at? Are you in Chicago? I forget where you're at. Oh, Florida. Shit. All right. Oh, taxes and gun controls. And so Barbara just got her, um, uh, I, I, I've been, um, I, I've been, I've been riding dirty. You guys, uh, the guns that I have, they ain't registration. Um, but, uh, Barbara wanted to go and get legit. So we took our gun test the other day. Um, she bought a little 22, so she's a little, little 22 rifle. Um, but, uh, yeah, the, the gun, the gun situation, it's out of hand here in California. There's like gun, no guns. Like you can't, like she got a 22 cause everyone's like, what's a 22 going to do? Uh, I want, you know, like you can't go in a nine millimeters and shit like that. Um, you know, and then you've got all the ammo regulations. Um, I'm lucky enough to be able to be close to Reno so I can run up, I run up to Reno and I can grab ammo up there. We do have a gun safe coming, so that's kind of cool. Um, you know, I think we're just gonna get, in, get into it more as kind of a hobby. Um, I'm not a big a gun person. Um, I'm not against guns. I'm not, uh, oh, I really, the whole country. Man, uh, our country. We, we're in we're in some serious trouble, huh? Um, someone asked me earlier, James, who who are you voting for? I was like, I'm not voting. I'm not voting for no. I'm not e voting for either one of the idiots. Um, I think we should boycott the votes. I don't think we should vote. I I um, uh, I, I said earlier that um, uh, Joe Rogan said the that The Rock 
uh, Dwayne Johnson should run for president. I would vote for him. He knows how to speak. Uh, he's got a level head. Um, he, he can speak to the country, not like our fucking current president. Um, but our runner up, you know, shit, he's not gonna, he's not gonna, um, voting. Um, you know, the, 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 the runner up shit, he's just gonna fall asleep. He's gonna sleep through his presidency. Um, I kind of thought that he was gonna pick someone else for his vice president. Cause I was pretty sure he was gonna kick the bucket and then they would give the vice president, you know, but, uh, whoever they, ch I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the chick very well, although she's out of California. I'm not, I'm not politics, but fucking doomed. We're doomed. So. Ah. Banger, banger number one done. Um, I gotta start wrapping this up. So, uh, James, thanks for coming by. I was talking about you earlier. If you go back about 30 minutes into the vlog, I was talking about you and I was like, yeah, this fucking James guy. <laughs> um, thanks for the support is I think what, what I was saying. So, um, thanks. Uh, let me pull you guys over here. Cheers, sir. Cheers. Um, all right. So where we are and what we are doing and why we have a three hour long live video. The first month, first live video. Thanks for hanging out in the garage with me. Um, but Bogna, uh, if you guys haven't heard the story this morning, she had to take her horse Remy to the vet this morning, which is at Ramona's, which is two hours away. And, uh, she, um, she took my truck and left me her car, which I didn't mind. I don't care. Um, I had work to, I have work to do at the shop. Um, I had to finish a refurbishment of an edger and I had to deliver it tomorrow. And I get to the shop, leave the house in her car, go fill it up, get to the shop, and uh, reach into my pocket, and I grab the key to her infinity, and um, there's no my shop key uh, is on my truck key, so um, <laughs> that couldn't work. So I was like, what better time to tackle the master? cylinders we have our clutch side over here which still seems kind of mushy but um hopefully it'll it'll thicken up um and the brake oh, 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 fuck. the brake feels amazing um we got the new wheels on so if you guys are just coming in we do have the bst wheels so i'll drop that to you guys we have new brembo calipers up here uh or uh rotors not calipers rotors um Wait, are you are you laughing about my shop key? Um, yeah, it really sucked because I had to call my customer that I'm supposed to be taking the injury to tomorrow and be like, "You'll never, you'll never in your wildest dreams get what happened." And it's just yeah. So um, yeah, so I thought you know what better way to get this thing ready for this weekend? Uh, she has a horse show this weekend that she's going to. So I think I'm going to ride with Spencer, uh, another one of my buddies. Uh, he is, um, come on, little air bubble. I think I got it. Um, so he's local. I think we're going to run up to Barriessa. I don't know if you guys saw Barriessa's. It's so, um, the, the fire, the LNU fire that went through, if you guys saw uh, part one of the last ride, the video came out yesterday the uh the devastation was like it's it's absolutely crazy so in certain parts of the fire it literally it was like a, a a bomb went off and leveled everything there's some spots that you'd see some hills you know some rolling hills i just thought it was like one big hill and there's like hills in there and stuff and it just it it, it there's an, in some spots it just dev just leveled everything Went through buildings, went through just everything. It's just the devastation was is is pretty, uh, pretty crazy. So I think we are going to ride up. Um, I, at least I'm going to ride up with Spencer um, and his wife um, and a couple other riders on um, Saturday. If you guys are local, if you guys want to ride up there, um, let me know. Um, shoot me a Instagram DM because um, that's what I monitor. But uh, yeah, so. 
Um, we're just trying to kind of button up this bike. And Eddie's got some stuff uh, that he's still doing for me. So uh, he's got, we've got some more carbon fiber stuff going on with him. Um, yeah, I missed somebody's comment. I'm trying to, um, oh. Firearms are very expensive. Um, James, have you not seen my 2020 Ducati Street Fighter? <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, yeah, this Street Fighter is very expensive. So, but yeah, firearms can be very expensive as well. So, it's definitely a, a hobby that uh, is expensive. All right. Where am I at? Where am I at? Um, there. There. And there. I'm liking it. Buttoned up, buttoned up, buttoned up. Let's grab that. Side on. I'm down here. Sorry, guys. Just trying to. Get a little hot in the garage. So we got uh, both the masters completely done. A full brake system basically is done. I didn't do calipers. Um, I really couldn't justify new monoblocks. I mean, these monoblocks are good. Um, there's nothing that really is going to give me uh, any more benefit to having uh, after aftermarket monoblocks. Uh, unless I'm doing like full racing and stuff like that, which I'm not, um, these are more than adequate. So um, there was no point in changing them. So, but we do have new pads. Oh, wait. Um, name three things I don't like about it. Um, uh, I, I, I have to reach because I really love this bike. Um, 
One one thing I probably I don't like that it doesn't have cruise control. Um, I really wish that this bike did have cruise control. So that's that's kind of one disappointment, I guess you can say. Um, there's nothing really I don't like about this bike. I really love this bike. Um, but there are little quirks about the bike that I don't like, like the you know like that it doesn't have that or you know I gotta pay to have the uh, heated hand grips. Um, I don't like the fact that this bolt won't go in. Um, but realistically, um, there's, oh, I know why. Um, yeah, there's not much I don't like about this bike. I, mean, I really, I really, really love this bike. So, um, I think I knocked the tab off of where the screw goes in. So I'm just going to pour it off and then. So, uh, hard to come up with three things. I did do the spacers for the throttle. I have a portable AC unit. It's so damn loud. I didn't want to turn it on, James, because, yeah, uh, I do. I have one right here. Um, I did do the throttle spacers. Uh, it was one of the first things I did, and uh, big benefit, big benefit. So um, it made uh, a big difference. So uh, the throttle spacers are on there. And that's on there, and that's on there. Now I gotta tackle the front end of this thing, where uh, the nose is. The nose has been uh, kind of dangling here. That's gonna be a whole nother. That's a whole nother. It's a whole nother video, folks. No. <laughs> um, Try and just keep the rags free of brake cleaner. All right, uh, let's see. Get a little cleany clean in here. Bugs on this thing, holy shit. Bugs everywhere. It's pretty, pretty wild, the amount of bugs that um, get on this thing, so. There we go. So I just get this thing cleaned up. Um, what I miss, what I miss. Cruise control, fuel range, uh, fuel gauge. I'll take all three of those. Um, fuel gauge, I don't really worry about as long as I kind of know. Um, the fuel range, the fuel range really uh, is, is um, I wouldn't say it's a deal breaker for me, but it's something that sucks. Um, I wish that the fuel range was was better, um, but yeah, it it, it 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 is like I said. I, I wouldn't say it's a deal breaker, but um, and I don't understand. I don't understand the no cruise control because you know it's fly by wire, so it's it's you know it's pretty much like a multi strata. Like what's the, like why why do copy why? Um, but. Outside that, I don't know. Um, it's I, I love the bike. I mean, you know, uh, I, I'm not sure that I would say I would give it up for anything. Um, I really love it. So, 
But some of those things, like you said, bring this up so you guys chop off my head. Um, yeah, I'm with you on the fuel gauge and the fuel thing. I, I, I don't know if I finished my story about uh, Bogna uh, laughing at me every time we go to the fuel station because I think it's a bird. Bird's meowing. Um, the uh, so um, look, y'all know if you don't know, go back and watch some of my videos. Y'all know how I ride. Um, I would say the fuel light goes on around 90 miles on a decent ride. If I'm balls out, I think I ran out of gas at 86 miles, which was my, I like literally was like, so I left my house, filled up in Winters, uh, which is at the bottom of Berryessa. Um, it's about 40 miles up to Lake Hennessy. And back would be 80 miles. And then I think I went an extra in between there. I think I went to the lake. I went to the bridge that day. So I did one too many roads. And I came down and I was, I was, I mean, I probably was getting 100 miles to the gallon the last 10 miles um, because I knew I was going to run out of gas. And sure enough, I got to the bottom of the hill and the bike died. So I think 86 miles is my is my record which i think is the the record on most forms a lot of people say talk about it i think 86 is where i stopped but that was i was balls that day i was whoo boy i was running that day um Barbara wasn't with me i just it was just a good day roads were clear um but it uh yeah fuels fucking sucks. So Bogna, Bogna laughs because we get to the fueling station and, you know, her BMW gets like 160 miles or something like that. Um, it's got like a four gallon tank though, but it sucks. And, and the Aprilia, we don't even know with the Aprilia um, because, you know, she always gets gas. Every time I get gas, she gets gas and her fuel light's not on. So we don't even know what the Aprilia does. Um, Ah, the MT-09, the MT-09, 110 miles, yeah, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll give, I'll give the MT-09 viewers that, um, it, it's, it's, it's not much different from the MT-09, but, um, I don't know if it's a cat or, or the bird. The bird might be out, meowing. Um, that bird, he's so wild, he's so crazy. He's, he's just the shit that he says. <laughs> he says, hi bird, and bad bird, and you're a bad bird, because that's what I always say to him. Um, I think he's in there talking right now. Bugs get on the back of this instrument cluster, so like, just while I'm, while I got it. All right, um, we're wrapping things up, you guys. We are coming to an end. Um, the cover, I'm not putting the cover on, if you guys are wondering why the cover's not on there. Um, Eddie has it with Shred Dog. Um, he is, um, he is carbon fibering, doing carbon fiber on it. Yep, that's the bird. There's the bird. What up, bird? Yep. So this guy goes... This bottom one is such a pain in the butt.
Um, lost my screw. Nope, oh, there it is. Nope. All right, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a breather. <laughs> I'm gonna end this three hour tour. Uh, thank you guys for sticking around. I appreciate the company in the garage. Uh, if the neighbors were home, they'd probably think I'm a fucking lunatic uh, over here talking to myself. But thank you guys for like, giving me somebody to talk to. Um, masters are on, so let's, uh, let's take a look at the bike real quick. Um, oh, I got gotcha. you. Let me. Um, yeah, no shit. Yeah, I lost the one screw. I can't find it. So, um, all right. Bike. Bike is here. And so, if you guys missed it. Haha! <laughs> Naylor, have you been here the whole time? Jeff Naylor. Uh, new rotors, pads are in there, new Brembo, and new Brembo, and then this is in and out. <laughs> um, let's ride, yeah, definitely. Uh, hopefully the, uh, the weather is uh, coming up, so disregard this because we're getting a new one, so there and so we're buttoning things up but uh there's the street fighter and uh the collection is oh, i gotta clean up the garage uh oh, so much to do but uh thank you guys for sticking around i appreciate you guys um giving me company thank you thank you and uh we'll see you let's see tomorrow's video i'm not sure what's up this week uh, i think we've got some the carbon uh the carbon bonnie um brake ducts are coming in so check it out um uh portugal yeah it's time for bed man uh ran you guys past your bedtime but uh thanks for sticking around um videos this week uh hopefully we'll have some live stuff maybe uh maybe i'll throw up some some teasers this weekend but uh appreciate it next week i'm traveling and then the week after we have a track day so uh should be some good stuff going on um clear clutch covers going on soon so appreciate everything but uh, we'll see you guys next video thank you thank you thank you so much for everything and we'll see you guys later bye guys